are going to learn about the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries. Uh, coronary arteries are the arteries which supply blood to the heart. Uh, simply, you can say that the coronary arteries are the arteries which supply blood to the muscles of the heart. Um, just like all other organs, the heart also needs blood for its function. So, to carry out its function, it needs the blood, and this blood is supplied by the coronary artery. Uh, the coronary arteries arise from the aorta. This is the aorta, which arises from the left ventricle of the heart. Uh, the, this is the right coronary artery, and this is the left coronary artery, which arises from the aorta. I'm going to the detail. Uh, this is the left coronary artery. Uh, from the this is the left coronary artery uh, from this point to this point this point arises from the aorta and uh, from this point to this point this is called left coronary artery this is called what this is called left coronary artery um, now this one this is the first branch of the left coronary artery uh, this is called uh, actually, uh, we we are studying the anterior side of the heart. This is not the posterior side of the heart. This is the anterior side of the heart. So uh, this branch, this branch arises anteriorly. This the whole uh, this branch, the left coronary artery arises from the aorta anteriorly, not posteriorly. That's why this first branch is called right, left. This is called left anterior. Interventricular artery, left anterior interventricular artery. Just like the name indicate, this uh, this is the left anterior interventricular artery because this supply blood to the left side of the heart. Left side of the heart. Um, this supply blood to the anterior portion of the left side of the ventricle. That is why this is called left anterior interventricular artery. Uh, this is called interventricular artery because this supply blood to both ventricles. Both ventricles. This uh, the anterior word. Uh, the anterior word shows that this artery supply blood to anterior portion of the heart. And interventricular means that it supply blood to the to both the ventricles. And artery means artery which supply oxygenated blood. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, this is the second branch of uh, left coronary artery. The second branch of left coronary artery is called uh, left circumflex artery. This is called left circumflex artery. This is called left circumflex artery because uh, this. This is called left circumflex artery because this is located on the left side of the heart and this circulate from the heart. This uh, make a rotation around the heart. That is why this is called circumflex artery. Circumflex means to make a rotation. Uh, now this is the left circumflex artery. This is the uh, this is left coronary artery. This is the left anterior interventricular artery. Um, now this one. This is the left circumflex artery, which make a rotation in, around the heart. Uh, to, ma to make a rotation, it goes posteriorly also, which uh, we are going to learn about later. Um, now, the left circumflex artery make a branch over here. This is called left marginal artery. This is called left marginal You will apply left word with all of these because uh, because this uh, these are the branch of left coronary artery and this supply blood to the left portion of the heart mainly to the left portion of the heart that is why this is left you you will also write left over here the left marginal artery supply blood to the left margin of the heart left margin of the heart means the area which is nor post, neither posterior nor anterior. This is the marginal area. Uh, now the next slide. Uh, now you can see the branch. The, this is the circumflex artery. Circumflex artery goes posterior. Now the uh, black color, the black color, indicate uh, the posterior side. 
the red color indicate the interior side uh, the red color only indicate the interior side while the black color indicate the posterior side so posteriorly it make the circumflex artery this from from this point from this point to this point from this anterior point to this posterior point this is lift circumflex artery and from this area uh, the lift circumflex artery give two branches posteriorly two branches so, so the this the upper branch is called uh, lift lift posterior atrial artery yahan pe aap dekhe this supply blood to the this is posterior that is why this this is this is on left side that is why this is called lift this this is on the posterior side that is why this is we we have applied the word posterior atrial this supply blood to the lift atrium of the heart that is why this is called uh, atrial and artery the artery so the lift circumflex artery gave two branches posteriorly one branch supply blood to the atrium while the other branch supply blood to the ventricle the branch of the circumflex artery posteriorly uh, which uh, gave blood to the atrium is called lift posterior atrial artery lip posterior atrial artery uh, and then the left uh, the left circumflex artery uh, posteriorly gave rise to the uh, left ventricular uh, left posterior ventricular artery this one is the left posterior ventricular artery <coughs> because this supply blood to the posterior side of the ventricle uh of the left ventricle that that is why this is called left uh, posterior ventricular artery left posterior ventricular Okay, this was all about the left coronary artery now coming toward the right coronary artery this is the right coronary artery um, this is the right coronary artery which arises from the aorta <coughs> uh, the right coronary artery gave rise first of all it gave rise to this branch uh, in the atrium in the right atrium this gave branch uh, this is called right yahan pe hum likh denge right anterior atrial artery dekhe right anterior atrial artery ye hum is side pe kar lenge to dekhe uh right anterior atrial artery this is and this is first branch of the right coronary artery uh this provide blood to the right atrium this provide blood to the anterior side of the right atrium that that is why this is called right anterior atrial artery <coughs> uh, the second branch uh, this is the second branch of the coronary uh, the right coronary artery um this is called conus atriosus artery this is called conus arteriosus artery because this branch gave blood to the conus arteriosus this branch gave blood to the conus arteriosus conus arteriosus is the part of right ventricle conus arteriosus is the part of right ventricle that, that is in the cone shape and that uh, that is actually part of the artery and the cone shape and part of the right ventricle that is why this is called uh, conus arteriosus uh, to give detail <coughs> this is the conus arteriosus this area uh, this is the right atrium this one is the right atrium and this whole one is the right ventricle and the right ventricle this part this part this part is called conus arteriosus conus arteriosus because this is in cone shape and this is the part of the artery which artery the that artery is the pulmonary trunk pulmonary trunk is actually artery so uh, this is the part of the right ventricle 
which is in the cone shape and that is supplied by the artery that is called conus uh, arteriosus artery uh, this is the right uh, coronary artery this one you can see this is the right coronary artery and this is the branch of the right coronary artery this branch is called conus arteriosus artery this branch um, now going to the detail this is the right coronary artery uh, this is the right uh, anterior atrial artery this is the right this is the conus arteriosus artery which is, which is also having further branches but um, this is the main branch conus arteriosus artery uh, now further just a minute you know me Uh, this is the right coronary artery right, right coronary artery give further branch uh, this branch of the right this is the right coronary artery from here to here this is the right coronary artery and this branch of the right coronary artery on the anterior side this branch this is called the right anterior ventricular artery this one is called right right anterior ventricular artery okay uh, this is the part of the right coronary artery that is why this is called right anterior this provide blood to anterior portion and ventricular artery because this provide blood to the anterior portion of the right coronary artery the right ventricle anterior side of the right ventricle that is why this is called right anterior ventricular artery uh, now the next one uh, the, this is the right coronary artery and this is the right anterior ventricular artery this is the second branch of the right coronary artery this uh, after this one this is the second one uh, this is called right marginal artery right marginal artery right marginal artery provide blood to the right margin of the heart which is neither anterior and nor uh, nor posterior neither anterior and nor posterior and this is the margin marginal part of the heart or mar marginal part of the right uh, part of the heart uh, that is why this is called the right marginal artery right marginal artery provide blood to the right margin of the heart uh, now and then uh, this this is the right coronary artery this right coronary artery goes posteriorly uh, just like uh, hair in the circumflex artery this goes posteriorly uh, the posterior side is represented by the black pin. Uh, the posterior side, this is the posterior side. Uh, the posterior side actually provides blood to the right ventricle. So, we, uh, here we, we will write the right. This is the part of the right coronary artery. That is why we will first uh, write over here right. Um, right posterior interventricular artery. देखे right posterior interventricular artery uh, इसको हम right posterior interventricular artery इसलिए बोलते हैं कि क्योंकि uh, this provide blood to the posterior portion of the ventricle of the heart and this is called interventricular artery because this provide blood to both the ventricle to right and left ventricle both the ventricle posteriorly that is why this is called right posterior interventricular artery uh, so this was all about the right uh, coronary artery right coronary artery is having these main branches the first branch is the the, the right anterior atrial artery the second branch branch is uh, conus arteriosus artery which provides blood to conus arteriosus uh, the third branch is right uh, uh, anterior ventricular artery which provide blood to the anterior portion of the right ventricle uh, then uh, the right marginal artery which provide blood to the right margin of the heart and then posteriorly uh, this branch is called the posterior uh, part of this uh, right uh, coronary artery is called uh, right posterior uh, interventricular artery which provide blood to the both the ventricles and the posterior side of the heart um, so this is the whole diagram I think it was a lot for today Inshallah in the next lecture we will study about the heart and the venous system